we're over here on College Street where a personal friend of mine lives and his girlfriend has been experiencing what she thinks is some paranormal activity. We're going to come in, check it out, see what kind of sounds is going on and see if they're made by para something paranormal or just some, you know, pops and creaks in the house. We're going to get this started and see what happens. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Daughtery here with Lost Image Paranormal, and I'm in the kitchen of a residence here on College Street. And for one of the claims that they have is they have different sounds going on here in the kitchen. Like, for example, they have basketball noises, like somebody is bouncing a ball here in the kitchen. I'm in the living area, and for one of the claims, there is different things moving around, like things being knocked, knocked off the end, end tables, and different things like being shuffled around. We're going to start off our night with going around the room with our K2, K2 meter and see if we have any spikes going on. Is anybody here with us tonight? Is there anybody here that would like to be known? You don't have to be afraid. You can talk to me. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with me through EMF? If you come close, then the lights will spike, and that would let me know that you are here. Is there anybody here with us tonight?
In the living area during our audio session, I was also using this temperature gauge to see if there was any different temperature throughout the room, and there was no difference. EVP2 Kitchen College Street Residence. When we was in the kitchen area, we was using a K2 meter, and we got some interactment. Uh, with the, he was saying he was a little boy. We had him going uh, two spikes for yes, one spike for no, and he continually answered us for a good, I don't know, three to five minutes. So I think that was a pretty good paranormal experience we just had there, and we caught it all on video. So I think we're going to push on and try to see if the little boy will come out and say any more, maybe even say something on the audio equipment. We're going to keep this going. Are you still here with us? Like, we're in here the second time on our second audio session in the kitchen. And the first time we got all kinds of interaction with this K2 meter. And this time we didn't even get anything. Not one spike. So I definitely think that we was actually talking to something through this K2 meter on our first audio session of the night. And hopefully we caught something on the audio here too. We're about to end our night here at the College Street Residence. As you can see, it's kind of a small place, kind of like a efficiency apartment. It wasn't a big place to investigate, but we had some activity during the night. We had the K2 meter that interacted with us saying yes and no on questions for about three to five minutes. So overall, I think it was a pretty good night. We need to go over all the evidence and see if we caught anything else during the night. But other than that, it was pretty quiet except our activity in the kitchen. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Have you lived here for long? Are you a child? Are you a girl? Are you a boy? You don't have to be scared. Did you just turn that back on? Um, no.
getting some big K2 spikes. How close are you to the refrigerator? Pretty far away. This is yeah, still just moving. Still moving. Yeah, just try to keep it away from the fridge. Keep on asking questions. Are you a child? Twice for yes, once for no. I think that was a yes. Are you the one that's playing with balls in the kitchen? Did you die from a sickness? Did someone hurt you?